is the energy vibration reading for um, the Cancer Sun Moon Horizon. I want to say thank you for um, your support, your likes, and shares. Happy New Year! I'm hoping please like, share these videos, and remember to listen to your Sun Moon Horizon sign. Um, it is a wonderful, wonderful time, and um, in this year, there is going to be. Um, a lot of new positive energies for you uh, cancers um, you guys have um, the energy of the lovers which is your energy vibration um, what is happening in this month of January is um, a situation where you have uh, um, the energy of fire but you're carrying your own water energy vibration which is very good this is a lucky sign especially for the energies of the lovers so whatever is happening or whatever is transpiring or whatever is taking place in your life some of you seems to have as the, the people who are uh, married seems to be carrying a burden okay you can have a, a strong um, foundation uh, but uh, you seems to be carrying a burden on your shoulder okay so let's look and see what is happening in this week because you have the energy of the four of there's going to be a lot of celebration in the first week and um, this is going to be good um, this is um, a lot of celebration new things are happening new business ventures for a lot of people um, new companies new organization new situation that is happening for you guys so um, this is wonderful this is positive and whatever the situation whatever the energies that are happening for you it's going to be a very strong foundation so this is going to be good so there is a positive um, whatever that is going on with you and the lovers um, which is your married partner it's going to be good there's going to be a lot of situation that is happening and is taking place okay that you are carrying a burden and whatever this burden is that you're carrying it's um, a situation that you need to heal um, whatever that is happening you need to heal this situation because it's a heavy burden that you're carrying as we move forward in the third week you have a situation with the king of Pentacles um, we are going to look and see what exactly is happening with this king of Pentacles in the third week in the fourth week you need to have balance because obviously a situation has happened with the king of Pentacles so you're carrying a lot of burdens and then you have the king of Pentacles and then you need to balance um, bring certain things in balance in your life so okay let's look and see what is happening between you and the situation your marriage because this is about um, the, the, the week of the lovers and there is a situation um, that for the marriage couple there's something that is going on the king of wands so obviously there is someone who is um, is in your relationship and there is the king of one let's see what is happening with the burden and the king of pentacles there is a lot of new opportunities that is coming for you so this is good and let's go and see with the king why is there a balance you have the six of cups is a is a past life situation that you have to deal with with this king of Pentacles so whatever the situation that is happening um, there is someone who is inveigling in your relationship and that is the king of ones and this king of ones can be someone who is uh, uh, um, an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius but whoever this king of one is he's getting involved in your relationship you're carrying a burden because the king of wands you're carrying a burden and then whatever is happening there are um, doors of opportunities that are going to be open a king of Pentacles is going to help you to open those doors of opportunities someone who you have known from a past life okay be careful what you're they're given to you there's going to be a celebration 
a three of cups so there's a lot of celebration that is happening so I guess um, a lot of you are coupling up with your partners and going out there's a lot of celebration that is happening for a lot of you cancer so this is going to be good as we look and see the opportunities and the new beginnings with soulmates and that sort of a thing you are going to be having regrets so there's a lot of emotional situation that has taken place in the month of January because you begin especially there some people have burdens and there is someone who is um, over the age of 40 that is a Aries a Leo and a Sagittarius and it's you know just getting involved in your relationship and everything and um, there's going to be a celebration let's see what is going to happen to that person because this person seems to be um, you know having a celebration you seems to be going out with this person a lot and having drinks or partying or that sort of a thing let's see what is the outcome of this situation the three of Pentacles okay so what is happening is you came in the month um, um, you came in um, from out the old year in the month of January with trying to uh, connect with someone um, to make something happen for yourself you're trying to connect with someone to make something happen for yourself and what 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 you're doing here is that you and this person seems to be going out and having fun and there is a situation that you have with the king you have a situation with the king of Pentacles that he wants to open up doors of opportunities for you this king of Pentacles you have known him in a lifetime it could be so it could be your brother uh, or so and you have a regret you have regrets about the situation um, why are you having regrets about the situation let's see because you have to share it's as if you are in business with someone you 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 felt happy in the beginning and you thought this is good because this person is there for you and it's great you're going to build on something and make something possible but as you look forward you're having regrets that you um, have you know what I'm what I'm seeing is that it's as if you were working someplace and then you got a job for someone who you know and now you're realizing that uh, you used to make more money and because you bring in this person is as if you're making less so whatever is happening you need to balance out you need to um, really balance out whatever is happening because here you were seeing that uh, is as if you wanted to build you know it's as if you you're missing a lot of uh, um, incomes that you will have so you're actually thinking not to you know like you know let me leave this and whatever I'm doing and not to do this so whatever is happening is that um, you are having regrets that it's like um, a brother and sister uh, or a friend you both go in business together and now you're trying to you know okay you know I did I did I, I was the one who said to him that he should um, come and join me and what is happening is that there is so many other opportunities around you so I'm not really you know there's so many opportunities around you but it's as if you know you're feeling as if you're losing out on certain things but there are so many other things that is around you but whatever is happening you're working out city um, um, karmatic situation with families and with um, some are working some of you are working on karmatic situation with families and some of you are working out um, situations with your 
wife husband or long-term relationship so this is what is happening for you so whatever the situation is whatever that was playing out whatever that was transpired whatever that has transpired in your life you are now seeing that um, um, it's it's going to be okay in the long run it's going to be okay because there's a lot of other opportunities that you can embark on because what is happening here is that you have a celebration and the celebration is bringing in new stuff and it's as if a kid someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn is going to be connecting with you and um, they're going to opening up new things for you and um, and you know you guys are going to be happy whatever the situation is because this king of Pentacles is going to open up opportunities for you and this is going to be whatever the burden is is someone who is over the age of 40 who is an Aries Eli or sometimes is making this burden happen for you but you have a strong foundation you you know you have balance you you're stronger than this so not to worry what is happening as we move down and 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 look at this king of Pentacles whoever this king of Pentacles you have known this person um, in other lifetime and you both come back in this lifetime to you know kind of um, balance out things and this is going to be what is happening because it's a really a, a time of balancing out things so what is your financial situation looking like not really um, perfect um, the king of Pentacles is here to help you because this king of Pentacles has the, the financial stability to help you and if you ask for help um, uh, they it will help you for whatever reason whatever the regrets is it's as if you went in business with someone or you invite someone you know to work with you and and, and, and it didn't happen and you know they're taking more of your incomes and you're not really happy with this but on the other end for the people who are happily married there is an influence and the person who are um, getting involved it is the energy of the king of ones and what is happening is that these the, the, the energy of this person is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius and um, you know you're celebrating over this because whatever is happening you know you will be out of this situation so not to worry let's move on and look at the zodiac energy and see what is here for the Sun sign um, a zodiac means what is here for the Sun sign um, you have I don't know but you know um, um, Mercury keeps on coming up especially for you want to sign people and you have Sagittarians so that man could be a Sagittarians and and um, it could be a Sagittarian woman that you are in a relationship with and you're happy and you're having a celebration and you're you're happy and, you know in that relationship so you know stay in that relationship whatever is happening and then you have the energy of cancer for the moon people your own energy vibration comes up and the Virgo whatever is happening to the cancers and the Virgo there seems to be really something that is happening to the cancer and the Virgo so um, let me put my glasses on because um, I've been doing this like for hours. Um, the Sun and Mercury is coming in, and um, for the Sun people, it's going to teach you guys um, to use what you have to turn in gold. And this is good because um, what is transpiring here is that Mercury and Sagittarius this is good because Sagittarians are um, very lucky so for you some people it's going to be good because you have the Sagittarians and Mercury that is coming in and this is going to be very positive and very good so um, not to worry about that for the moon people the lunar people you have the Kansas and the Virgo so for the lunar the night people your own energy vibration comes up 
and you have the energy vibration of the Virgos and the Venus so some of you are going to be falling in love with people in your own sign the uh, sign of a cancer and some of you are going to be um, working together um, with um, to heal yourself with love heal yourself with love so there are uh, you know a lot of situation that is going to be transpiring and taking place for you cancers in this month but you know you have a wonderful spread because whatever is happening with uh, your love life and your relationship is very good because you have a very strong foundation and you have a situation with a king of um, wands um, why this energy keeps on coming up well, let's see what else is here a message in a bottle why and message in a bottle this why keeps on coming up um, and um, now uh, this 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 thing of why keep on coming up for a lot of people why and whatever the situation Okay, there's a message for someone out there. Um, you're right. On, you're right. You're on the right track. Expect a call, a new opportunity, or a message from an old friend or business contact that will lead you closer to your dreams and greatest desires. Spirit has been listening to you. So this is good. Um, whoever this message is for, this is actually good. And <laughs> this is the message for you guys. Okay. You would not believe it. This was the second card I took up. And I opened the book and that was the message that came out. So a spirit is saying this is the message for you guys. The number 15 message in a bottle communication a sign Claridant and uh, the name of um, spontane oracle delivering innocently by the speaker point the way to your eyes good spirit sends you signs when you ask for them when you believe you will receive them and when you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols oracles and amen they may come to you as a bird flying by or a logo on a truck and a song on the radio expect confirmation that you are pointing in the right direction keep your ears open for someone might say just the right thing that will give you the answers to the queries today your message is this spirit airs you and the reply is favorable Ta -da. so oh that is like okay so um this is a wonderful message to leave you guys with it's going to be wonderful not to worry you have your own energy vibration namaste until next month